This is a video of my first uh, game on Golf of Oman in Battlefield 4. Uh, the last two videos I uploaded were of me shooting down helicopters. This is uh, the other side of the coin. Take a drink for the title of the video. Um, decided to put a commentary on it because I might get a little dull otherwise. So uh, there's one unbroken helicopter run on Golf of Oman. Not that impressive, but it's a first and uh, kind of trying out the um, PlayStation Share tools. Anyway, the uh, run starts with uh, me getting in the gunner seat of a Blues uh, attack helicopter. But gunner seat could be fun. Uh, the tickets were, uh, the team's quite far behind at this point. I also ended up as squad leader, playing by myself, so saw me doing my best there to give my squad some extra points. So get the grips with the gun. Hard to track when the helicopter's flying away from the target. The pilot gets killed there by, by an A91, which I thought was a carbine, so I'm not sure what happened, but because uh, he wasn't talking to me, I didn't notice quickly enough, I would have just swapped seat, ended up getting out repairing the helicopter. Somebody shot me as I took off, and I'm very lucky I wasn't killed there. Uh, doubly lucky here when that rocket misses. Okay, I thought I might have picked that guy out. The importance of spotting. I'm quite pleased with how I tracked this tank. Again, I've only just started playing Battlefield 4, it's all residual skills from Battlefield 3. figuring out how the uh, reloads in the vehicles work. You have sort of two timers, you have an unseen um, uh, timer just for when you sort of press square to reload, uh, but then it sort of takes the, the vehicle a while to camera the new rounds so you can sort of run out of uh, rounds. Uh, here, uh, practicing some control, capturing the base, but also secretly hoping that somebody would get in my gunner seat, which has been empty the whole time, but uh, looks like I am, um, you know, flying this one stag. Uh, there, having a gunner, all of those lovely enemies lighting up, that would have been nice. That would have been probably five kills for a gunner. Uh, there is a deep melancholy to this replay, given how solitary the whole experience was. One person in the helicopter, playing it by myself for a couple of rounds, no squad. Yeah, coming up against another helicopter, obviously, um, You'd ideally want a gunner with a torn through in there, but I knew that if I stayed above, now the gunner nor the pilot could hit me uh, while I was waiting for the weapon to reload. Got lucky in that he decided to fly away and down, uh, but had to drop some countermeasures for a jet coming in from the behind there. But that's uh, pretty pleased with that, uh, with that helicopter victory. Staying right above the other chopper is, is good. Trying to give my squad some points, spot the base they're heading towards. Although I think the uh, 
the squad upgrade uh, bar is full at this point, so the squad's at full operational capacity. Some guys in there on the first pass. One section of the game, but didn't find them that time. The Hydra's never really been great against uh, man, but you can sort of help out. Again, presence of a gunner sort of made this a lot more effective after the infantry. Uh, so that was a lock on, and then jet flew close enough that the countermeasures didn't work. Always find that difficult to do. Um, lucked out when he got greedy and went in for the kill. Slammed in the ground there. Felt pretty gratifying. But, uh, lucky I was able to get in behind a wall to repair this. It's nice that they've expanded the um, playable area a little bit from Battlefield 3. I sort of have to deal with uh, you know the red out screen while I'm repairing it, but still in the helicopter, still one run. Uh, also bonus. Had time to uh, tee up the second um, set of ammunition. Lucky that that helicopter didn't come over and kill me first, but then it sort of took care of itself. Uh, but at this point, we now have three bases. We're still behind, but uh, well on our way to victory. Uh, got very lucky there. That was greedy and careless swoop to try to get the guys inside the con yard. But uh, it all works out in the end. Uh, and damage there. I think I get a squad assist as kill from one of those guys. Yeah. And then finish the second one off. Feel like a ball, uh, like a end of level boss descending a helicopter into on yard firing it. Uh, pretty sure I'm taking damage from an AA there. I haven't uh, discovered how the um, deployment anti-air works in this game yet. Although, I mean, I know it's over a year old, so it's not like I'm a pioneer. But, uh... I think that's what we said anyway. There's a guy uh, climbing the steps there as I flew over. I came here to wait for him to come up out of the top, but I think one of our teams a curve and Maury went into the one of the middle floors instead. And here's helicopter number three. Again under fire from the anti-air in the base. Yeah, anybody else took that out? Not sure who. Finally, a gunner. Maybe a team tickets left. <laughs> 